I left Iran to continue my higher education because it was difficult to get to universities in Iran. So I left Iran for India to continue my education. And I went to India as well to, um, to study. We had a conference and uh, we met each other there for the first time. And then I went back to my place and I had a letter from Ali that he wanted to come and see um, where I live. So he came and uh, he proposed to me. <laughs> I finished university in 1983 and Bita finished at, almost at the same time. So we decided to leave India for another country. Australia was one of the countries who were helping Iranian Baha'is after the Islamic Revolution to come and settle due to the persecution in, in Iran. So I applied uh, to come to Australia and once we got married, then Bita has applied as well. So and we came from India to Australia. But I think my first impression of Australia was, you know, when we landed in Sydney, we thought, I, I thought it was heaven because it was so different, you know, from Iran and India. Um, people were happy. They looked very happy. Everything was nice, clean, tidy. And, and even the color of, you know, the clothes that people were wearing, it was all very happy colors, which was really um, different than in Iran because in Iran, usually, you know, women wear um, very dark colors, black, brown, gray. So that was my first impression that I thought, oh, this is a beautiful country, and um, I was very glad to be in Australia. The Baha'i community in Australia sponsored us to come to Australia. So we wrote to them, we said, yeah, we're coming, we're arriving in Sydney such a day, such as a, a small country town to us, so we can go and settle there. We traveled for six hours really hardly you could see anyone. <laughs> Till you get to a town, then you can, yeah, there are a few people in the, in the town. Really, we didn't know where Wagga is. We knew that if we catch the bus eight o'clock in the morning, so we arrive here about four o'clock in the afternoon. We didn't know what route he is taking. Even we didn't look on the map where it is. <laughs> so we just trusted our friends that they're suggesting a good place to us. And the friends here, they say, yeah, it's, it's nice. Come and stay with us and see for yourself. They showed us great hospitality. Uh, really, we liked it. And we, next day, we went and looked for a flat to rent. And really, the third day, we were in our own flat. Um, we didn't look back since. <laughs> mm. I, I suppose wherever you go, the beginning is, is a little bit hard. And, and our education wasn't recognized. So that was the other thing that it was really hard for us you know, to study in, in, in India with language problem, and then we came here and they said, no, your um, degrees are not recognized. But we persevered with it. I had few other, few jobs, temporary jobs, um, with different companies and different institutions. But finally, after 18 months, I got a permanent job, and really, since then, I've been working. No, we are very happy. I, I count my blessings every day, because we didn't know whether my parents were okay or not. We couldn't communicate. Um, even writing letters, you know, phoning them, we had to be very careful, you know, we couldn't say lots of things. And my dad lost his job a few times because of his religion, so we were very, very worried for them that whether they were alive, whether, you know, they would have any problems. So I was really happy when my, my parents, you know, came to Australia. Because my daughter was living here, we came here for a visit her and family and her family and after that we decided to stay here because we had problem in my country and she decided my daughter decided to be a stay here and she tried to get visit uh, for us when i arrived here about uh, uh, one month we stay in my daughter's house, and after that, uh, we decided to go to another separate uh, house. My daughter con uh, contact with uh, a lady in San Isidro, and uh, she said, okay, we have uh, a house, they can come here and uh, live here. And we went there, and 
the first time we couldn't um, turn, uh, turn on the heater. The next day, uh, my friend, uh, they are living in uh, San Jose, uh, He, she saw us and uh, my husband said, I, I am not well. The weather was cold last night and I couldn't sleep. And, and then that night, it was dark. And uh, I heard somebody is knocking the door. My husband said, no, no, don't go and open the door. I said, maybe she, uh, somebody is uh, important thing to tell us. And he said, no, 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 don't go because it's dark. But at nine o'clock, dark uh -huh. and cold, they came to my home and brought for me hot water. I cried. I cried. 